So a few days ago, I came across this particular article about this famous rapper that a lot of people are talking about out of Memphis. The brother's name is Finesse Two Times, and he is a hood pookie, to say the least. If I ever wanted to like smoke a blunt or hijack a liquor store, he's the first person I would think about calling. Unfortunately, my life is on a different trajectory right now. And I don't feel like getting no felonies, so he won't be hearing from me. But he's a dude that he was dating Erica Banks, right? And, um, you know, Erica Banks is very hood. She's a hood chick. So he basically broke up with her. Then he got with three different women in a polyamorous style relationship. So at first he went from not dating Erica Banks because she's not feminine enough then to dating like three chicks at one time which must be hard to do right but now the brother is now saying this sugar the last black woman i'm dealing with i want a white bi or a latino you dig all salt no pepper high blood pressure ah. so basically no pepper no black right so i wanted to see what is the reason why so many black men are saying these things? And I've been studying this for a minute, but a lot of black men feel the same way he does, but they say it for different reasons. Let me play the first clip and then I'm gonna come back. Why I do not date or take black women serious. And it's not because I don't wanna talk or date or not take them serious. It's because on average, okay, your typical black woman will call me unattractive. Okay, so she calls me unattractive, but yet all the other races of women, immediately they fall in love with me. They, they love my personality, my character, the way I move, my intellect, how I do things. But the black woman, all she sees is in her mind, cornball. He, 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 it's even, it's, it's, there is no in between. There is no gray area with the black woman. Okay, so if there's no gray area, I either have to be a thug or I have to be like an, a super white man like a black man that's white and if i'm neither one of those two things i'm in the gray area and if you're in the gray area with the black woman you don't exist she does not see you understand now let me play the second clip of these two guys saying something similar the closer you fit to that, that stereotype, you like some yeah. girls will be, they, they'll just be down, especially black chicks. I was about to they say. They like that shit, bro. I, I think that mostly attracts black chicks. They, I don't know yeah. what it is, bro, but they like that. Mm -hmm. they, they don't like when a dude has it together. Like, I, I don't like, clean cut look. Yeah, yeah, bro, and I don't want to say that because it sounds like I'm yeah. trying to bash. I'm not bashing black women, but it just is what it is. Yeah. That's been my experience. I attract I the most Latinas and white girls. Mm -hmm. That's what I attract. Yeah, same, same. I think because I have that professional clean cut R&B type of look, that's why I also mostly attract Hispanic and white women. And you guys be in the comments like, do you not like black women? I'm like, black women don't like me. <laughs> Looking at them in the way they talk, you know what I'm saying? And what they were saying, yeah, you you going to a black club and you want the baddest one in there. You know what I'm saying? You don't qualify for that. Your game ain't there. Yeah, I care less how you look, care less where your status at. I can, I, can, I can hear it in your voice. Your game ain't there. Come to my school. Come to Sleeves University. I can make you. I can get your shit to go. Now, the difference between Finesse two times and these other guys is these other guys are who you would call educated lames. I'm the first brother. I don't know if he's an educated lame, but he says black women don't like him. They don't like how he looks or anything like that. Um, and then the second brothers, they're saying that, you know, black women think they're corny. So, you know, but the other races appreciate them. Let me, let me just say this. Okay. And you know, I've been all around black America. I'm not the most model kind of guy ever. And to be honest, for me, it, it, it's it's been a problem at a certain point. But at the end of the day, you know, shout out to T.I. and the brothers out in Atlanta. I'm going to stand on business. I don't give a f And this is an honest story. Where they from or if they black or not, if they like me or not, I'm confident within myself. Right? And that's a lot of brothers don't be confident when dealing with women from the community. You know, and a lot of brothers think that they're going to basically go to other groups of women and they're going to like you. You know, look at what happened with Jeannie Mai and Jeezy. Look at what happened with Jonathan Majors and, and, and that one chick, Grace Jabari. Man, those chicks can treat you the same damn way. All right. If you are a real man, and of course, some sisters got a little problem with, you know, listening to a man or, you know, doing the right thing for a man. Yeah, that is, you know, our, our community is messed up. But if she don't want to do what you ask her to do, just get rid of her. 
It's simple. I don't know why guys make it a black or white thing. The lady don't want to do what 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 you're asking her to do. Get get her out of there. All right. There are plenty of black women out there. If you are a real man, that means you taking care of your business. You letting her know what's up. You providing. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. If she wanted to be with you, you know, hey, she got to bring something to the table more than just you know giving up the booty and all that stuff. And a lot of brothers be so thirsty. This is another thing too. A lot of black men. A lot of black men have, have have lost the art on how to talk to women. So you want a woman to choose you based on the fact that you're black, or on the fact that you know you you, you have a cool card in the white community. Man, what does that mean when another black guy come? What does that mean? You need to be a legit brother. Period. It shouldn't matter if the girl is white, green, alien, purple. What does it matter? Look, this is my program. I'm running my program. And, you know, like I said, I'm going to respect you and I'm going to take care of you and all that. I'm going to love you. But now, if you're doing the things I don't want you to do, talking crazy, enough, you got to go. And if they do, get them the f out of there. It's real easy. Like Sunday morning. Get them out of there. You know, some of them ladies have never been taught that by a guy because I'm going to tell you what a lot of black men do. Y'all let a woman and her sexuality get away with murder. I've done that before because she got a fat booty. She got this and that. She got some big old tatas and everything. You know, you let her get away with murder so she don't feel like she need to bring something else to the table. But now if you're a brother, you're producing and you confident, you know, hey, everybody ain't gotta be funny, but some guys just lack confidence. Just be confident. Tell her what's up. Let you know you want her. Hey, listen, I really want you, babe. You know what I mean? Like, what's up? You know, you gotta learn how to overcome your objections. Some of you brothers talk to ladies and then, you know, you, you so timid. Why are you scared of her? All she can do is tell you no. Is that gonna kill you? If she tell you no, what 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 does that mean? <laughs> just okay, so she don't wanna she don't wanna deal with you. Go talk to somebody else. It's that simple. You know, hey, look, I stepped to you, boo. You know, you out here looking all you know, real nice and everything. I wanna, you know, see what's up, you know, like whatever you you gonna you gonna say. Why are you scared of her? She go to the bathroom just like you. I know she looking good, just be like, look, you know you was looking good when you came out the house today. And you know somebody like me was gonna say something to you. So you might as well come over here and let me say what I got to say because you you cause this on your goddamn self. You cause it on yourself. So now I'm talking to you. So what what time is this? What is it gonna be? When am I taking you out? Just tell her straight up. Most dudes is corny, they scary, they don't know how to talk, they don't know how to say nothing, don't know how to really be a leader, don't know how to really be a man. And this is a lot of these young guys are scared it's scary. You know, I came up with men were still being men, you know what I mean? And we didn't make no excuses back. This is before the internet. You used to have to go to the mall and it had no cell phone number. You wanted to get a number, you had to go out there and holler. You had to go out there and holler. I used to go to the club and try to get 12 numbers. Now, 10 of them didn't answer, but hey, I did my job. I did what I was supposed to do. Hey, and every time I see, every time back in the day, I had this one dude, his name was, I used to, he looked like Tyrese, right? But he was, he was real like short and, 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 and like real built. He played running back. I used to call him Big Head Tyrese. His name was Gerald. And I used to call him the holla monster. He used to wear sandals and everything. Man, you know, most African-American, he's from Bakersfield. He came up to sack. He was going to American River with me. I'm telling you, man, we used to pull up to the state fair and my beat up Toyota, man, it could barely, it could barely even pull in. Anybody, he would go talk to him, bro. Anybody. I'm talking about Big Head Tyrese had game. He didn't care. And he have on sandals. He get shot, he would be, oh, what you mean? No. What you mean? No, baby. What you talking about? No. And he didn't care. You know, but so many brothers are so intimidated by black women, man. A, black, a woman is a woman. You know what I mean? They're going to have their little front and all that stuff. But, hey, you doing what you're supposed to do? Hey, man, you know, look. Hey, baby, I don't feel like hearing all that right now, man. Go take your ass in the room or something. You're like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, what you, you're tripping right now. You know? Look, I don't feel like, you know, really getting into it with you right now. Take your ass on. All she's going to do is take her ass in the room. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you really a man to be respected, some of you some of you black men out there, you ain't nobody to be respected. That's why the woman treats you like that, because you ain't nobody to be respected. But if you a man to be respected, you taking care of your business, she ain't gonna she ain't gonna treat you like that. You feel me? So uh guys, what do you think it's your boy Shay Duke Jackson? Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all you just heard the bill. We're out.